Discover the top 10 essential sniper gear items that every marksman needs in their arsenal. In this video, we break down the must-have equipment that enhances accuracy, stealth, and overall performance in the field. Whether you're a seasoned sniper or just starting out, these items are critical for success. From precision rifles to tactical accessories, we cover everything you can't live without. Consistency equals accuracy. Cheek. Stable position, sight alignment, natural aim, focus. Repeating terrain levels, positively identifying my target, finishing my position, checking my ICO indicator, sensing my opportunities. Aim for the point, for breathing, consistency and shadow, regretted at the shot from the tee. Recoil. Evaluate and assess the impact in front of and behind the equipment. Shooter ready, authorized. For decades, snipers have been a dominant instrument of war, instilling fear in the hearts of their enemies, achieving lethal shots from distances of up to 3 kilometers. The average number of rounds expended in Vietnam to eliminate an enemy soldier with the M16 was 50,000, but the average number of shots expended by snipers was 1.3 shots per enemy eliminated. With Hollywood and video games capitalizing on the sniper lifestyle, it is easy for many young soldiers or aspirants to have a mistaken or distorted idea of what it means to be part of this particular military profession. Therefore, based on the experience of snipers, I have compiled 10 points that might guide you in this profession and everything it entails to be a sniper. So, without further ado, get comfortable and get ready to learn 10 things you need to be a sniper. 10. Lewis is in the movies I won't lie to you, I also love sniper movies, but Hollywood often portrays them as lone wolves in the middle of nowhere, tracking the perfect spot to make the most concealed shot possible. Things don't work exactly like that and are not as glamorous as they are painted. Being a sniper can even fall into one of the most tedious, complicated, and even, I dare say, sometimes boring military jobs. In modern times, sniper teams are usually composed of four to eight men, consisting of a shooter, an observer, a radio telegrapher, and additional troops to provide security. You will have to wear suits that are not comfortable after hours of use, learn every little screw in the exterior or interior of your weapon, and spend a lot of time learning to plan a mission correctly. The training is exhausting, and no movie can fully express how difficult the process of becoming a sniper is nor the routine of their missions. 9. Minimum requirements before you start becoming a sniper. You should know that not everyone is cut out for it. Thousands and thousands enlist to become elite shooters, and precisely because of this, sniper schools seek to reduce that number by setting minimum requirements. If you do not meet them, you cannot be accepted as a candidate. Not all sniper schools apply the same criteria, but here are some of the most common requirements. The candidate must have correctable 20-20 vision in both eyes. No color blindness is allowed, must not have a history of mental illnesses, must be in excellent physical condition, and pass all exams. In some cases, the candidate must have passed the basic sniper course, be a volunteer, be recommended by their commander, have no history of disciplinary actions, have a minimum of one year of retention in any military branch, and pass a psychological evaluation conducted under the direction of a qualified psychologist. 8. Shooting is just one task yes. We all know that military snipers are great shooters, but you will be surprised to know that shooting is possibly the least they do in combat. A sniper's training consists of properly planning the mission, moving silently to a shooting location where they are perfectly hidden, stalking their prey, completing the mathematical calculation before firing their weapon, requesting authorization to shoot, doing so, confirming the kill, and leaving quietly without a trace. Additionally, something many do not know is that a mission can last days without anything happening. In the blazing sun and cold nights, missions are usually very long. The ability to study and understand maps, images, and access routes is an essential skill for great snipers, and they must undergo rigorous training to master various terrains and know how to apply land navigation tactics. Range estimation is equally important to improve a sniper's chances of hitting the target, and they must be able to estimate broad ranges in case their primary sight becomes inoperative. The art of sniping requires learning and repeatedly practicing these skills. 
concealment and camouflage, as well as observation exercises, are just as common in mission tasks. You will be surprised to know that in almost all sniper schools worldwide, shooting is only 15 to 20 percent of the total things that candidates do, learn, and practice during the course. 7. The selection completing sniper training does not guarantee a position as one in any military unit. Sniper teams only seek the individual who is not only capable of making the perfect shot but also knows how to give clear orders and make difficult decisions. This helps when you need to communicate with your teammates in the middle of combat, and if we look deeply, this skill can be the difference between taking down your enemy or ending up six feet under. The sniper selection process can sound discouraging because it is a decision that does not entirely depend on the individual but also on the instructors and the results of the applied exams. Although let's remember that psychological exams and other aptitudes are necessary to be a good candidate, not just endurance and shooting well. If you meet all the requirements and are the best, it should not be difficult for the instructors to select you, as they are very well trained for that. 6. Mental conditioning being a sniper is not just about being an excellent shooter, although that is important. When in an operational state, i.e., in the middle of battle, a sniper has to overcome many mental limitations such as lack of sleep, food, and water, basic things for any human being. Normally, snipers are behind enemy lines and outgunned and outnumbered. Because of this, they must maintain absolute discipline throughout the mission. If the sniper has a mental breakdown in the field, the mission could fail and end in tragedy, such as the loss of innocent lives. You will never meet an impulsive sniper or one who gets scared instantly. Becoming a sniper means that you will have to be cold and calculating and trained mentally to have the kind of discipline needed to handle extremely tense situations. 5. Patience is a virtue there are things that can be trained, but patience is not something everyone has. Making a mistake because the sniper is in a hurry, is erratic in decision making, or is desperate to finish due to discomforts is completely unacceptable and can get them or a teammate killed. One of the key things nobody tells you about becoming a sniper is how much patience you will be pushed to have. And it's not about small annoyances or discomforts, it's often pushing your body to the limit in extremely complicated positions, climates, and terrains. Military personnel, in general, won't lie, just standing or being in a position for a long time in the blazing sun is torture. Now imagine doing that for longer and with the threat of being the enemy's prey. Again, patience is a virtue. 4. Constant training and learning If there is something to be heard from veteran snipers, it is that a sniper never stops learning. Battlefield tactics change and evolve based on the environment the shooter faces. The same tactics and knowledge of a World War II sniper do not apply to a sniper in the Iraq War or a sniper protecting the president at a massive event. Also, let's not forget that weapons change, the enemy is different, the weather can vary depending on the area, and combat conditions are very different depending on the mission. That said, a sniper must be able to adapt and overcome any situation that arises. If the wind increases or the sniper is forced to move from their position, it is very likely that they will have to reconfigure their sight alignment and many other variables they already had. There are no shortcuts here. Things must be done systematically to avoid collateral damage. 3. It's not a way out of the infantry, this is one of the biggest misconceptions that many young soldiers tend to believe, but being a sniper is not an easy way out of the tough lifestyle of an infantry soldier, which usually involves getting your hands dirty and being sent to the front lines. For rookies, life in sniper platoons may seem more glamorous due to the modernized equipment they train and operate with and everything seen in movies, but that does not mean it is easier or a less dangerous job. If anything, you could end up burdened with more tasks and heavier equipment than a regular infantry soldier. 2. You will definitely change being in a position of this category will make you no longer the same person you were before entering sniper school. You might not even recognize yourself after training. One thing you might notice is that you will become an adrenaline junkie. Something about being a sniper makes many people crave thrills after completing their first missions. It's not something I say, but something many snipers who have been deployed in war have confessed in interviews. But again, it may be different for another individual. 
Either way, after years, a sniper's way of seeing life changes, the way of doing things is different, and facing daily life challenges can also be quite difficult. There are many positive aspects like discipline, order, patience, etc. But part of that can torment your desire to be who you were before. Becoming a sniper is a personal sacrifice that few are willing to make. 1. Psychological cost of killing This is possibly one of the most sensitive points we will touch on, and it is important that you take it into account. Psychologically, ending someone's life has its repercussions, even if it is an enemy. In the book, On Killing, by Lt. Col. Dave Grossman, it is mentioned scientifically and psychologically how ending someone's life can affect your personality and mental integrity to levels of post-traumatic stress. For a sniper, things increase much more, as seeing that target through the magnified reticle becomes more personal since they can see the enemy in detail and up close, who ultimately is a person they know they will take down. In the case of a regular soldier, sometimes they don't even know if they or a teammate hit the enemy, but for a sniper, it is very different. There is a whole science behind the taboo of taking someone's life, but you must understand that it is not like video games or movies. Real life can be much harsher. The difficult part of the process for a sniper is learning that once the trigger is pulled, there is no turning back, and it requires maturity and nerves of steel to do so. First, you have to reflect on the fact that if you receive an order, you must fulfill it. In reality, it could mean ending another human being's life. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and activate the powerful notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, where there is great content every day. Without further ado, I wish you an excellent day.